For more than 20 hours, some of the top players in the world have been drawn to this East London setting for a poker game of epic proportions. A cash game that's featured Baza Hearn, Helmuth, Oliot, G, and a wolf. They've all had their reckoning, but the final act is yet to be played out. Who will the profit ledger show is the big winner and the wooden spoon? Well, we've seen it all in this room. And it's about that time when players are gonna look at the check and say, did I eat all that? Only a few hours left. They've come, they've gone. So let's have a look at who's still at the table. Roland the Wolf. He started late, took a break, but has come firing on all cylinders. I like the competitiveness and the freedom that playing poker gives me and just the gambling. It's all fun. Reek Fish with the long tall from Because is now just trying to get even. Unfortunately, I've done something real stupid and um, this is going to haunt me for the next couple of days. John McGill, he was buried like a clam in this game, but sees daylight here. My time was completely off, so I'm just trying to get, if I get anywhere near my money back, I'll be happier. Even half of it back, I'll feel like a winner, you know? Liz Lou, the little lady from Kalamazoo. Nothing but fun. I'm completely focused, and they don't have that 100% focus. I guarantee. Looking at the leaderboard, the backstory is they've been playing just about 20 hours. And even though Roland the Wolf is winning, he had been up more. McGill buried 17,000 now, but he was losing 40. He must feel like a man on top of the world. The blinds 50 and 100. The button on John McGill and Liz Liu. I wonder, uh, can I mean, first act? Yeah. I mean, Andy's <laughs> reeling there, uh, and he's, he's only on 2,700. I, I mean, you know, he's gone from being winner in this game, good winner, to now losing. Do you think? What do you think his mindset is? I'll play this 2700, try and get back to where I was. Uh, but what if he loses? Is he going to go deeper? I mean, you know, he's a pro. I mean, uh, yeah. he's a professional player. He doesn't want to sit here and lose 50,000. That's his. Yeah. That's his. That's his bankroll. You know. Yeah, exactly. It's it's so tough, you know, to gut check it when your ego's been, you know, when you misstep or you've made a mistake, you just. You know, it really tests your discipline to, you know, just say, okay, that's enough. Because he said, uh, so I really didn't want to play with your own. I think he kind of felt that maybe this wasn't the best spot, you know, as it was last night when he sat down. And right. And he didn't listen to his uh, instincts, and consequently, it may have cost him $17,000. And believe me, it's, uh, you know, you have swings as a poker player, but it. You know, it takes a while. I mean, he's gonna, yeah. he'll be going home and he'll be thinking about this for quite a few days before, you know, he has some kind of resolve in his mind. Cheers, Marty. I always said you're a good win. Thank you. You know, this, this, this the thing about forehanded is it's very personal, isn't it, Kenna? Yeah, well, when it gets personal, that's when you get all this action. You know, it was really friendly for a while, you know, and I and I was saying that if, if this gets personal, you know, we could actually see this game really open up, and that's exactly what's happened. You know, you, you just pick up a hand against a hand, and then all of a sudden, boom, there go the fireworks. And all of a sudden, the friendly banter, you know, which was back and forth, you know, just ceases, and now it's, it's cutthroat. Well. And you can see Liz, who's been on the sideline now, says, that's enough. I'm ready to mix it up. You know, she's seen these big pots being pushed back and forth. And uh, this is the best hand she's seen in a while. So she raises it up to 2,000 with ace-jack. 
I expect the Greek fish to take a stand here and, you know, probably move in right. the rest of his chips. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All in. And, uh, I mean, nice. Lou was just reacting to Roland the Wolf, wasn't she? Now she's. <laughs> she realizes. Uh, it's a bit unlucky for Liz here. But uh, the Greek fish um, feeling like he deserves a break. Right. Well, well if, if the one thing that Liz has going for her is, is the, the backwards momentum of the Greek fish. You know, she's not as far behind as the percentage will indicate. I just seen how this happens. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this might be the Greek fish's get out pot. You know, it, it, this could be his chance to sort of get even and get out. Wow. Well, now? you're right so far, Jesse May. Six, five, <laughs> deuce, two diamonds. Right, He's got to dodge diamond, no, diamond, or head. jack. I'm ahead. I'm way ahead. You know, the cyclical nature of this game. Uh, <laughs> Oof. It's a, you know, and it usually just punishes you when you make a mistake. Okay, you're almost dead now. So, you know, a six or a deuce will split the pot. Yeah. Jack will win okay. it for Liz. Yeah, well, and I wouldn't be surprised if it came. But it doesn't. Nice one. Whoo! He staves off the uh, backwards Two, momentum. Damn it. Damn it. He doubles up. 25. 25. One of you white ones. Yeah. And you, you were right, Jesse. I think the, you know, the smart play might be here, you know. Oh. To, uh, if, he, if he's close to even to, to pick up. I mean, I know we don't want that. We want, you know, it's already shorthanded. We want him to see him stay, but... Well, I'm, I'm, Greg Fish is a friend of mine, actually. I mean, he's got, you know, I know all these guys, but I mean, knowing Andy, um, you know, I, I kind of, I kind of just feel like right now his stomach might not be in the game. And uh, if you're up for it, you know, you, you know, you, and you feel confident about it, but I, just the way he, I, I think his stomach might not be in this game uh, right now. And if your stomach's not in it, you know, you. His stomach's not in the game for sure. His stomach is over in rolling stack. That's not a bite. You know, you, you, you need a certain amount of gamble to uh, to play to play your best. I mean, uh, I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if wasn't. Uh, well, Andy's soldiering on. He's uh, he's got a lot of heart. This uh, Greek fish, and uh, Liz realizes that hand. She just got kind of um, sort of Roland dictated her play, didn't he? Well, I think well, not so much Roland is, is that she hasn't been getting any hands. Right. And so that was the best hand she's seen in a while, and she's seen all those big pots being pushed, and, you know, perhaps greed got the better of her. You know, greed, it's a strong word, but, I mean, just, you know, you don't want to just sit on the sidelines and watch everybody else win the money. You want to get in there and duke it out, too. She's been patient for a long time and just decided to, you know, her timing was just off in that particular situation. Now, the wolf. The werewolf, oh no, that's the eight of clubs. I thought he had a flush draw. He doesn't. He's got an open end straight draw. Called. McGill's going to have none checking of it. He calls ball. him with ace king. Two overs. You checking the dark? And yeah. the best hand. Give okay. Give me a turn. If it's not a spade, I'll bet the turn. My last time McGill with that. his coffee in hand. <laughs> what, what looking like he's back at work. Look okay. at this. Oh, no, that's not the straight, but it's a pair of sixes. That makes Roland the best hand so far. Check. Oh, yeah, he checked in the dark. How I how I forget. Thirteen hundred. Yeah. Shut the door. Out. If it's a spade, I would have checked. No. How should scared. John be thinking no. about this? No, I know I got the best hand, but I can't. Well, I think John uh, should be draw. thinking. You know, I have no pair. How much money have I put in the turn with no pair before, all night long, and have lost? Perhaps I should throw tie. it away and continue my you can draw your hand. forward momentum. Maybe you got a mate hand. No. Maybe you got a seven. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> but, seven would be good. <laughs> but with the barrage of cool. dialogue from Roland to Wolf, perhaps it confused him it. once again, okay. and he's you know like stubborn, doesn't want to give up on the pot. Look at this. Roland makes uh, the straight. <laughs> And he's going to figure out how to bet an amount to confuse Miguel further into thinking that he has a busted flush draw. Hmm. Do you want me to bet? It's up to you, Max. Do you mind? I don't mind either way. <laughs> so 
32 again. He likes 32. <laughs> He's got such a creative game, Roland. Yeah. He's, uh, I mean, it's a pretty big bet. Roland might be biting off a little bit more than yeah. he can chew here, though. 32 is just a little bit too aggressive, I think. You know, I think he's got to bet like, you know, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars. He's got to realize that John didn't have top pair here and, and that he really needed to make a good value bet to get, mm. you know, any kind of money out, I think. Perhaps he's over betting, though, trying to sell the missed flush draw. I think that's really what's happening here, but I don't think it's going to work. I feel like these two have played mind it's games. Very much to make a hand, does it? Since they sat down together. Perhaps ah, Roland's best play, if he was going to do that, is to move all in. <laughs> 420 now? What? Perhaps yeah. it's very late, and yeah, I've been yeah. up many hours, and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I don't know. Action to John Miguel. Let's see what he thinks. He's definitely thinking about it. Did Roland limp in before the flop? That's what I think happened. And McGill raised from the, oh, the small blind. I mean, I keep looking at that. Probably a terrible call. I'm getting a little Queen nine I need and to control myself. <laughs> I, I guess the, I guess he can beat ten jack. I don't think he can really beat anything else. Ten jack and king jack. King yeah, ten. and a spade draw. He can, but he's got the ace of spades. Call. I mean, oh, no. he should, he should. Well, I've been doing so many, and it's just crap. Like it's just crap. See, you can see he's even talking to himself, but he's at enmity with his own, uh, his own knowledge. But he just. I just have a funny feeling. Wow, I think he crossed the line there, and I'm sure. Call, wow, cool. Roland got call. this call. That's just absolutely incredible. Yeah, <laughs> Roland, Roland's very creative with his bets. I mean, uh, six was one from here to court. <laughs> the six he said. Even on the pair. The six was winning. Yep. <laughs> you can see DeWolf sitting up now. He is fully awake now after that hand. You see the smile rub across his face. Well, you know, these guys have been playing mind games, Ken. I mean, it's, it's I guess it's been pretty horrific. Mind I mean. games? I mean, you don't have a pair. It's $3,200. My friend. What are you doing? Yeah, I mean. He, and even Roland says, what are you doing here? It's stupid. It's stupid. Oh, I'm stupid. I know. I'm, what are you doing here? I'm a monkey. I'm a, what is that, a donkey? Is that what I'm Yeah, Back to the table here at the partypoker.net big game. I'm going to crush you. I'm going to take it. All of a sudden, we've got a bit of a drama, though, Canada, don't we? Because, uh, like, you could almost see these guys playing head up, couldn't you? Yeah. Well, you know what? Now, now McGill's in a dangerous spot. After making all this comeback, usually <laughs> the psychology, in my belief anyway, if I may say it, is I'm that sometimes you head. punish yourself for... <laughs> You know, making an improper play or doing something wrong that you know is wrong. And instead of shoring up your game, you go out to punish yourself further. And that looks like what McGill's doing here. He's got 3 4 coming into this spot. Yeah. He's going to punish himself for, you know, making that bad call. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, he wants to punish himself, but he might get away with it because he's flopped a pair this time. Bet, bet big if you want to take it down. Um, you bet a thousand and a half, you'll probably take it. A thousand and a half? Yeah. That's what you want me to bet? That'll probably, probably take it down. Take it down? It's just not worth a thousand and a half. <laughs> you have to bet to take it. Well, I'll bet 700. 700. 700, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly, I nearly had a straight. Like, I'd imagine you had the best hand. <laughs> yeah. I was saying so, or else you wouldn't have folded. Do you have a smoke line there? The blind's 50 and 100 still. Rolling in the small blind, Liz in the big blind. Action to John McGill. When do I have Liz? <clears throat> 
I might have a little laces. Cole. McGill looking like Cole. he's ready to play any two right now. Cole. Yeah, he's, he's playing a lot of hands right now, isn't he? Cole. And Do we have a family pot? Let's play, huh? No. <laughs> Woo! Uh, Liz <laughs> picked up something big here. Wow. Liz. Now, Cole see, here's the hand Liz oh. has patiently been Ooh. waiting for. Sure yeah. The yeah. cowboy. Yeah. Yeah. Liz is at crossing us. Pass. Yeah. You know, she, she must be looking at these two guys. Um, Come on, Excuse Lulu. me? Greek fish and Roland and uh, Different class. thinking that the way they're playing right now, uh, obviously that the, the tight aggressive game is the smart no. game. I, I, I don't can't say I disagree with her. <laughs> it is a smart game, but sometimes you just don't get the hands. You know, you sit there for hours and wait for, you know, a decent hand and it just doesn't come. But it did this time for her. She's betting a thousand. So uh, she saw Roland get paid off, I think, and influenced her decision here to bet the size of the pot almost. Wow. But look at this. Cool. McGill. You know, he's the only hand she got called by. It's funny. It, the wolf had two pair. Would have had. Would have, could have, should have, huh? Yeah. Well, McGill either looking to punish himself or Liz Liu. He's picked up the gut shot straight draw now. He's actually got a lot of outs now. A jack, a three, a nine. And 3,200 bet by Liz Liu. The size of the pot. She's doing that. Sort of shut down any price for the draws, isn't she, kind of? Yeah, well, now McGill's getting two to one. And he's got uh, two threes, three jacks. That's five and four nines. Is uh, nine outs. Eight known cards. Is that his what? Eight and 42, eight and 44, eight and 36. Eight cards help him. Nine cards, rather. I'm sorry. A very optimistic call. She's made a big bet here. He, he can't really call unless he thinks he might have the best hand. Or does he think he can get paid if he hits? Is that what he's thinking about? Is he hoping to win a lot of money? He's three to one dog, and the pot's laying him two to one. That's a terrible call. Great, that's a great call. <laughs> a terrible call. Yeah, I mean, the percentage is there, say, so four to one. I don't today. know if... Um, that's a brilliant call. Uh, on me. Uh, right, yeah, okay. Jack I'm nine me. or three. Yep. But, um. I guess he's, I, on your bike, Phil. This, this would be a mistake, wouldn't it? Unless. Well, uh, not he not a big one, though, because, yeah, you know, he's we getting slightly the worst on odds, but if he Hi. hits his oh. hand, he's probably going to make. All in on the river. Don't wow! All in. See, okay? I told you the tattoo. You see the tattoo there, Liz Lou? Has she gone all in? in the, <laughs> she's gone all in in the dark. That's so. Oh. That's so. Uh, very dangerous play. What if a nine comes up? I last for. What's that about? The jack of spades. No, the nine of spades. Jack or a nine? No, the three of spades. He needs a diamond. Bring him a diamond. Wow. It's three kings. It's just, Oh, a dream card for Liz Lou. Oh. That could have been absolutely oh, disastrous. No, fuck, I was in trouble for, for a call Liz, or a raise. Liz, Liz. <laughs> he knows it, see? Liz is, Liz is I mean, nice John card. knows where he's at in he the hand, it. and he's still... Uh, oh, he's almost four four grand. Grand. She he's a I know she's nearly got four grand. Hey, most of Liz's money is in this yeah. pot. Well, that's right. I thought Liz had a lot more than that. That's why she moved I've in got, I've got that a either. really bad hand. She realized she was going to have to call if... Uh... Yeah. Shit. Now John's thinking, does, is it possible that she had, you know, a flush draw? Oh, this is what you do. You, you try and figure out a hand you can beat. You know, when you see a wow. pot of 16,000, you go, well, what can I beat? Try and convince yourself to make a, a really bad call. He's been uh, very curious in uh. some pots, and uh, it, it seems like the more times he gets curious, the more times he thinks someone is going to finally bluff him. I don't think he might have scared to be bluffitis. You wouldn't do that, with Ace Queen, <laughs> would you, Les? No. Scared to be bluffitis, huh? No. Ace Queen of Diamonds, no. See, yeah, that's a. Trying to figure out a hand he can beat. I tell you, I, no. 
it's 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 what I like to do. It's, it's why cool. I think I'm so bad. Yeah. I, I call it a creative put. <coughs> you always put the people on the hand you can beat, and then you yeah. call them. Um, I've, I've tried it. It's it, it's it's interesting strategy. <laughs> Doesn't work very well. It works good if you like doing commentary. See, Liz, Liz, <laughs> Liz here though is. Why is that about four grand? Is it? You know, looking a little too coy, I think. But like this, I've called the worse. No. <laughs> is he going to give her the call of over four thousand? Maybe. Twenty-five short. How much? Twenty-five short of four thousand. You have three thousand nine hundred and seventy-five. Yep. Three thousand nine hundred and seventy-five. Uh, She's really doing her best now to look nervous, isn't she? Look at those eyelashes dimple that she had. She was fluttering them. And uh, <coughs> I think thinking to herself, "Oh no, oh no." Ah <laughs> oh dear, the funny thing is, yes, Queen, you have. And I've called a lot worse than this, or I've called a lot worse than this. <laughs> but, sounds as you, Liz. Do you want me to call? I don't think she's going to say anything. Hello? <laughs> Do you want me to call? <laughs> <laughs> you know I can't say nothing. Okay, 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 okay. Wow! It's not a good call, is it? Yeah, not a lot of time. You won. Pass. I think that last look over by Liz. I'll, I'll tell you what, I, I think that was... Yeah, something. Yeah. You're bluffing, don't Go on, show it. it. <laughs> Come on, Liz. No, go on, we can see it in two minutes. Show, show, We can see it in two minutes. Go ahead, show. Should I see it anyway? No? Go see it in two minutes. Things about to change once again for who could leave Barry Hearn out of the final act of this play. But he knows all too well that sometimes results are out of your hands. You do need lady luck in poker as well. It is 20, 30% luck at some stage, but there's an awful lot of skill in it. And if it's a skill you're looking for, you've got the players to watch to see how the game should be played. And now Baz is back. He had to go, took a little break, came back. And uh, I think he's going to try and play the rest of the duration. Please call, please. <laughs> <laughs> he was about to. Yeah, I was very close. It was really I know, close. you were about to. It is full of nine, ten of hearts. Or no, that's that, that's the Greek fish. Yeah, he limped in under the gun, and the rays What's from that's rolling that's under five hundred. Four more. Four more. Right, so I have to play a few hands now. The wheels have come off. Cool. East three, very highly cool. regarded in Ireland, that's of course. Don't worry about me. Don't worry for long, uh, no way about either of you. <laughs> you, you, you. Famous you play with that hand of the '99 right, World Series of Poker. You can hold hands. I was going to say I'll check the but I'll wait and see. Oxy, this still talking about it. I might get, I might get some chips. Might be fair, Rog. He doesn't want to run really nice in the last day, and you do. What about if I say that just for the last day you can have a live struggle? No, we want to. Make it make it fair for the rest of us. Roll in place with one hand behind his back. Yeah. Let's give the rest of us. I'm more interested in hitting this flop. Roll in what? And uh, with one hand behind his back. Big yeah. flop for the Greek the fish the and uh, I don't care, Marty. Let him do it. Obviously, okay. top pair. Yeah, there's going to be some action here, and. Uh, yeah, the Greek fish got. Oh, no, I'm not only has the flush drop, but he's a pair of ten. Not fair. <laughs> yeah. All the guys are going to do. I want you to bet so I can rise you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you bet and see what I do? <laughs> I'm just joking. I'll check. Check. It's check. possible check. they forgot about uh, McGill, but uh, wow, Rollins, he, he must have picked up on something here. And now he's in a much stronger spot than he was, isn't he? I thought some of his were sure to bet. Do you know what I mean? Well, well McGill's saying call. just a hand ago he wasn't going to bluff Insta anymore. <laughs> it lasted automatic. for one hand. He's dancing on the turn with an ace high into two players, one who has a pair and a flush draw, and the other one with top pair. The funny thing is... Uh, McGill's bet 1,200, and That's not mm -hmm. if Greek Fish oh, so. makes a big play here, could he, he take the wolf nuts. off the I hand? Learn that kind of, that yeah, that's, that, that's a great style. point, uh, Jesse May. Huh? Greek Fish moves all in here. He could win this without improving. <laughs> you know, who are you talking 
need to. There's nobody down there. It's totally Phil. Phil's down there. I've got eight grand exactly, John. I, I think what's happened is Greenfish has just no, called just, and, just I miss. and Roland has <laughs> folded you know, the, the Queen Nine, which is well, that was a bit of a giveaway. Wasn't yeah, well, I'm, really? I'm just Wild stuff. I didn't see Thanks, the Greekfish you know. call. He, he's oh, flat called now, that. and Roland's I've got folded. This time. Mm. Wow! I just called twelve hundred for nothing. No, you didn't. I threw away the best hand, maybe. Mm. I'd say. You know. Oh. Yeah, Roland's going to be sick when he sees this. It, it seems like he picked oh, up some strength from the green fish or something. <laughs> I, I mean, the way he played the hand, checked on the flop, folded on the turn, uh, kind of. Trip around. Uh -huh. like, and that's all we couldn't sleep anyway. So that's at four o'clock in the morning. Well, if McGill's going to win this, he needs to bet, you so know, we've got plenty of basically there, uh, push like, green fish down all down in. in. I was so tired. I was up like, like seven because I had to play heads up now. Yeah, I think Greatfish has about, oh, let's say 35, 3,600 right now. So we could bet the size of the pot would effectively set shame Greatfish all in. Shame, 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 shame. This delay is really hurting McGill now, though. Come on, John. Come on. Dwarf pacing nervously. Looking for something to read over there. I mean, it's going to be very hard for Greekfish to call all his chips right now in the pair of tens, isn't it? Well, not the longer that McGill takes. Big great, got to be a gutsy call. I don't know how much McGill's going to bet here. Unless he bets, unless he bets, he puts uh, Greekfish all in, I think he's going to get called. And even then he might get called because he's taking so long that it, you know, looks like he's trying to muster up the courage to make a bet. He's just trying to put Andy on the hand here. It's I'm not sure if it'll be up to you. Uh, um, Andy I is have, praying you know, right now. He, he just checks it. He doesn't want to have to call off nice all his chips. <laughs> Check. This, this is the guy Check. I talked to where the game's going on. He knows everything. That was music there to Greek Fish's ears. We've already checked by Andy here point and point be out. relieved to win the pot. Yeah, kick me out. How did I manage to fold that hand? Because you're I'd a donkey. I'd say the best hand of a six. <laughs>I know there have been a couple tempers flared and that sort of thing, but with what was at stake and yeah, I've just raised. Just, I, I just <laughs> thought it was played. It was just a fantastic event. Um, wow! Look at this. The wolf flops a set of deuces, but there's three spades. John McGill has a jack of spades. Now this is exactly yeah. the kind of pot that McGill wants. He wants to put a lot of heat, mm. probably, and try and get lucky here. Well, he's... I mean, if there's a, a, a bet and a call out there, or a bet and a raise type of thing, uh, he'd be very surprised, I would imagine, to find out that his spade is good. Uh, yeah, well, look at this now. This pot is really developing quickly. Barry Hearn, pair of aces, and the flush draw. Mr. Wow, and this was a perfect opportunity for McGill to, you know, get some money in this pot and hope to catch another spade to Shall I let you up? try and make something out of it. Yeah. Well, you're not going to find He had every right to think he was drawing dead there, didn't he? I'll say it back up. Maybe not. Well, now I this... Jesus. Can I have that back? I'm this is a clash of wills right here, I'll tell you that much. need a white... I can tell you, if Roland wants to go against Barry Hearn, he's even though he's got the set now, he's going to be fighting uphill. This is, you know, a man who is very determined. And you can see, boom, there it is. 
Burritos. Determination Burritos. brings results. Brings him the flush. Cool. Roland not going anywhere, trying to fill up now. He knows that spade was dangerous. That's he needs the board to pair. But, I mean, Bowser might not be feeling so comfortable about his seven of spades right now. Oh, and it does! Incredible for Roland to Wolf. Pops off 3,000, no problem. Fills up. 3, and now he's going to... Wow, and he just flat calls. Good guy. Wow, that was amazing. Yeah. It was, uh, I mean, Bazza was, uh, I'll tell you what, he was pretty aggressive with that seven of spades. It was, it was good. But, um, you know, on the turn and bet on the river. Once, uh, once Roland DeWolf's called 3,000, I mean, look at that, the flush on the turn for Bazza Earn. Paired the board on the river to full house for DeWolf. Uh, it was a big pot there. Huge. And you know, John McGill could have really gone off for a lot of chips here. Don't forget, he <laughs> folded the jack of spades. Yeah, sure he could have. Wow. The full house, deuces full of aces for Roland DeWolf. He is on the roller coaster. Loves he loves it. Okay. He but loves it. Many to hit us there. Oh, there you go. It's going to be a nice top off for him for the night. He's not going to want this game to end. He's hitting full stride now. <laughs> you know, uh, DeWolf, who was doing well early, then went back down to even. Um, there's actually a pretty good chance he's going to end up being the big winner in this big game. Uh, he's, 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 I think he's about $30,000 ahead. Uh, yeah. Very close to Yuha Helpy numbers. He get in those couple of huge pots late. I am. I'll shake. I tell you what, there's still some time to go. Right? You mean the wolf could end up being the massive, uh, the massive well, man right, of the match here. Cards, Although there was a <laughs> Park was kind of saying all night. <laughs> like uh, Tony, the way Tony G was, uh, was bulldozing. I mean, it was incredible that he was only up about twenty thousand. It seemed like he was up a hundred and twenty. Yeah, I'm not sure if they checked his, uh, his. Uh, well, you see the airplane pants for, uh, <laughs> for <laughs> <laughs> see the winning percentages there is zero for Greek fish and wolf because they only have an opportunity to chop it no opportunity to win only McGill no when it comes to me it's my big blind my option I was checking my option not checking uh, irrespective of all but I'm gonna take everything you have and you're gonna crush me yeah <laughs> I was gambling nearly. All of it. Uh, McGill's ahead. Does he Dom. know it? Here we go. Story well, mind. Roland just looking for that miracle jack. He feels probably like he's walking on water right now after taking those precious green chips. Everything. 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 Well, wow, a queen or a ten wins for him, too. Yeah, I guess he can only do that if he decided that McGill can't have a king here. Or doesn't. You're right, anyway. He wants, to, he wants to win a big pot. Ace is up for McGill. That's going to do it. That'll shut Roland down. Wow, nice acting performance here by McGill. Maybe he can check and get Roland to make a bluff bet here on the river. Yeah, 3,100. That it? would be his best play. Right, if he knew what Roland had, for sure. Three thousand. Three thousand. Yep. Get more involved. Oh, got one out, right? <laughs> 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 These guys. Uh, they're down to showing cards. It's uh, there ain't much information given now anymore. It's, this game is rocking to a close, isn't it? Just three hands remaining in the big game. As Mad Marty Wilson calls time on this game, we'll be give you a round back of with the last three hands after the break. Three hands to the finish line. 
Can you stop picking on him? Ah, no one asking. Oh, God, I love him. And, uh, wow, McGill certainly not going to be happy with that news. He, uh, he dug himself a big hole. He started to climb out, and then it's like he lost his grip. What's happening? You, you, uh, right back down into the abyss. Here, you lost so many. There we go. Can't you just be nice? I wouldn't no. be surprised if he's nice. Yeah, well, I guess he's nice. No, now, but it's not in his nature. Is it really? I feel like he's, got, got he's, he's been all down over 40,000. I think he's only down to about 23 or 25 or so. Um, know, it doesn't seem like that big a difference. But Rule, Jump change. Basil, this is like the yeah, casino like, when you're doing your pieces and, you, you know, they say free spins. Seems like McGill's going to play every one of these last three <laughs> hands. Oh, so yeah. sure, yeah. I think Roland DeWolf might. I wonder if Roland DeWolf knows how close he is to the title of the big winner in the big game. But, uh, I think he'd be proud to win that. He, he, uh, he hasn't won, <laughs> won much these last so couple of weeks. Seven to your, seven to your I'm not saying I'm going to set to set for you. I will ask what I'm saying. That's just where I'm going to be playing. You better ask him yourself. Put a bet and I'll find out. Uh, I think he would call six, wouldn't you? So how do we watch no? these snaps? Well, oh, there's one. I don't think these pots are going to be very meaty, though. Um, usually not when it winds down to a close. Two hands left. What will it bring? Is there anything left in the tank? What are you doing? You've got too much in there. Just 50. Roland DeWolf. Going hey, for his last two hands. Well, I'm, I'm saying yeah, it was a very yeah. gentleman. The title of, of the biggest sorry. winner of the big game. Phil, yeah, honestly, I, do you know what? Over the last two weeks I've seen him, I've got to say I've been real, real impressed yeah. with him yeah, well, in his tournaments particularly. Us, yeah. But last last night, I think it was unlucky. I don't think you could criticise him. I mean, Tony's a cash player. Don't even sharp. think about it. What? Tony's not a cash player. <laughs> Tony's a don't sharp. Monkey? You, you know Tony's going to have play him all day long. I haven't looked. Yeah, I've looked. Haven't looked. Well, even still, but he, he, look, what Tony's <laughs> method worked. <laughs> they worked. What Tony done worked. You McGill. can't criticise the guy. Come, he said, I don't know what he won, you but he won. One night, as, as a, you need to look at it over a long uh, term. Well, yeah, yeah, you can, but Tony, he's <laughs> he, he's worth playing. He's slow because he turned around and put the oh, time on. She's standing. Twelve thousand up. So yeah, she'll give a little game. action here in the last couple of hands. <laughs> She's had a nice win tonight. Well, wow. Yeah. Ace King, King three. Oh, I'm not sure if she's up that much. Uh, she, 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 might, she might be. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think that's how many chips she has. I, oh, but is that right? Oh, okay. So maybe she's only a couple thousand, thousand up there. Five hundred. Five hundred. Please do. Like, Cincinnati piece We'll take a look at the I'm, I'm final very, leader very point in a minute. You 10 grand free. So right I, now, we'll, we'll go to a good uh, Liz just challenged with Best second pair. <laughs> yeah. John McGill firing an air ball. <laughs> She's going to look him up. Yeah, McGill's going to have trouble winning this pot, isn't he? I would think so. Especially now. Some might say it's an impossible task. I don't know what these two can do, but I wasn't worried about it. Maybe if you bet 12,000. I was not worried about it. Maybe. I've got one of my outs of gold. That's what I'm thinking. I'd hate to see him try, to be fair. I'm sure Liz Lou wouldn't mind seeing him try. 1,200. Well, he wasn't cool, and if he was cool, I'm not going to be enough. I think he'd have called you, whatever you are. John. I think John was John's in that John's a tilt artist, but he's not stupid. I was calling you. I think he would have called you. I don't think you would have. Obviously, there's some hands out there that beat Liz. John, you won. Anything. But a bluff, really. Any king. Was, but you wasn't. I was. Most so of the kings, anyway. Yeah, he is. He's in a pot, mate. He's in a big pot. Yeah, sorry. But, uh, sorry. She's going to have to think about it. I, is it just about what her hunch right? says, Ken, or is it. No, I think she doesn't want to make a bad decision late here. You know, so she's just going to give it some thought. Oh, this is very unlike you. <laughs> Bluffing is not really that Long unlike way. John. <laughs> but, um, she likes you. Maybe she thinks. I like you. Wow, that's strong. Right, three and a half that was really strong. Wow. 
maybe she was trying to make John think that she's bluffing and that he can take this away with a repop. I, I don't know. Yeah, he might be able to if he can really dig down and do it. You know, he might like the challenge uh, proposed by Liz Lou. You know, she, she just doesn't really believe in calling dance. off her chips, and that's one of the reasons she's a, she's a great player. She thinks she has the best hand. She'll put some heat on the pot. 2,300 more. And uh, this is not going to come down as the greatest call in the world by John McGill. No. He'd have to call here, make a big bet on the river, or just repop it right here. I think he won about 10 grand. It would be a much better pot. He, he's very he calm in the hand. If he makes a big big bet here, he could take this away. Because um, it was a Gregory one. I think Liz could end up with all his chips yes. if he does that. He, he, you're right, I guess he might. Liz is capable of laying down real hands, isn't she? Big hands. For real. Did he win in the end? I think so. You heard one. Look, Look at this. Look at this. He only won 2,000 or something like that. Yeah, it was like, it was two grand. He was getting hammered and he was two grand down at one stage. That's and he come in, I said to him, look. You know, this is, you know, this is a major pot. And for for the Greek fish to really be just chatting across the table there, taking the focus away. Ten more hands, right? Okay, let's make it a good one. Come on, girl. This is KJ, the final hand of the PartyPoker.com Poker Den, wow. the big game. Man, what a journey it's been. What a journey it has been once again over here in London town for the cowboy. <laughs> we've, we've laughed, we've cried, we've done everything but snore, I think. Wow. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Go on then, it's the last hand. Go on, let's oh, have a look God. at the flop. Go on, have the big race and you ruin everyone's last hand. <laughs> you cow. Oh, String that, bet, no, that's no. not allowed, you've got to race. <laughs> String bet. No race. Oh God, okay, you want me to race no, this okay, much? <laughs> Everybody, everybody's in right, for the last hand passes. here. Yeah. You know, I have a prediction. Yeah, what's that? What's Something's away. going all in. Well, well, you said it's probably not going to be a big pot. I think you're right. Everybody's pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> there's no answer in that. Don't Notice there's a couple right. copies. The 10s no copy, copy, the 7s yeah. copy. Yeah. This good boy. Been there before. Jack, 832 hearts. Check. Check. After it's gone. Don't bet. Don't bet. You should wait for something to still. I don't get them on this All right. A girl with the pair. Of eights. Oh. Okay. Call. All right. Wolf Never mind. The best the hand. Yeah, he does. And how about this? Go on, boy. Bazza, what's going on here? Uh, Adrenaline rush. <laughs> what's going also on Also has here? top pair. That's a thousand. Damn. Oh. <laughs> I if I throw any green ones, but you just nicked on my green one. A couple of cards to make things more interesting here. Barry has... Uh, <laughs> Houston. We have a problem. Houston. The kicker still plays seven, doesn't yep, it? Yep, sure does. Thousand. McGill, um, I'd say he's capable of anything right here. He's <laughs> I tried that yesterday. It didn't work. <laughs> call. Wow. Excuse me. Another long call. But I've done it for a roll, not like, do you know what I mean? But Barry's right, just, just too good. just trying milking. to figure out what's milking going day, on. Why are you just milking the day? I fold. Camera I'm club. Camera club. Pass. I figured if Barry's got a jack, he's There's beat. No as it turns out, house. he ain't. Barry. No milking. No. No milking. Well, that, just... Yeah. River card. McGill needs an eight or a ten. Oh, tired. He did not got it. Spot check. Dee -dee -dee check. Dee -dee -dee -dee. So you missed your heart. One, two, three. I couldn't check my last hand. <laughs> I think this might be a mistake. <laughs> wow! Wow! Up in the air as well. That's what he does. 
Miguel moves Where's all it? in, and the last hand, he finds no, the courage no, to really Barry. put Barry Jump Hearn to the test. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and Barry oh, calls him. Because I might as well go over oh. nothing. Well, Just the jack. All the jack ones. Nice call. Now that is a fitting wow. last wow. hand. It oh, certainly oh, is. A $13,000 pot to Barry Hearn to end the night. Oh, my goodness. What a night. The last hand of the big game. He does not uh, shrink from Ooh. controversy hey, or conflict, Barry Hearn. No. Second Ooh. pair, no wow. kicker. Plenty good. Plenty good, and you could see John McGill's fortunes. Exasperations and emotions coming to bear in that last moment of the last hand of the big game. No problem. That was nice. Max Robert TV. I feel so happy to win the last hand in the big game. And what a hand to win it on. One of those legendary calls with Jack 2. Actually, the truth of it is, I was so frustrated, I thought. I knew I was beat, but I wasn't going to go home with just a few chips. I'd rather go home with none, so I just threw them in. And, and when John said the jack's good, I was, I was so happy because it was the last hand of the big game, and it's been long, tiring, and the players have been, to a man or a woman, fantastic. They've kept going for 24 hours. Everyone, the dealers and the tournament directors, everyone's worked so hard, and to win the last hand is like, that's almost like a seal of approval on the event. John McGill may not share Barry's joy as the final pot drifted away from him. I couldn't have any worse a day at the office. The worst I've had in a lifetime. But I have to say, I really did enjoy the game. I come back, I was nearly levels uh, with the money. If I had queens in the roof, and if I had a got, if Roland had a call, I would have had. I would have been exactly levels. I've been happy, but. Overall, I really enjoyed the game. I think it's a good format, and it was very good. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next one. Or Roland DeWolf. That was a good day at the office. Where's the next game? I think I won like, uh, I, I sort of maybe got three times my buy in, nearly. So yeah, I was uh, one of the, did pretty well today. Made a couple of mistakes, but played some hands pretty well and got some good cards. So yeah, it's fun. The final big game leaderboard shows Roland DeWolf topping the profits. Baz Ahern, happy to have saved the day at the last with $3,000. And what a great call with the Jacks. But no comfort for John McGill, soaking up losses of nearly 40 grand. Andy Greekfish is in profit, but after such a strong early showing, he may be a little bit crumpled. Not a good day at the office. I feel like I've lost because I feel the opportunity was there to earn a lot of money tonight. And I don't think the play was very good. I think the play was very poor in, in many respects. And I don't think I helped myself with that one hand because if I didn't dump that money away, I've obviously 25,000 plus, I would have been 20 grand minimum up. So I'm a bit upset at myself. I was down, I was stuck about 3,000 at one time. And then after that, um, I won a pot that's about 4,000. It was like up and down for me. I ended up losing 700, so not bad. The final leaderboard of the whole big game. Tony G, the big winner, and he felt the point was necessarily the money, but more importantly, putting one over on a rival. Yeah, it feels fantastic to leave the table feeling that I'm a better player than Phil Helmuth. I mean, it's definitely, I, I wanted to beat him and pr prove to everyone that I'm a better player. I think he's overrated in cash games. He's definitely a brilliant person, a brilliant, brilliant poker player, but not in cash games, it's my specialty, actually. He was beaten at the table, was Phil Helmuth, for $35,000, taunted by Tony and deserted by the cards. I mean, it was brutal what happened to me over here. You know, they just, like, wouldn't let me win a pot. They tried crazy, insane bluffs, you know, and I mean, we're, you know, where I'm supposed to lay the hand down, and then, you know, they'd show me these crazy hands, you know, and, and, and they worked, and, and, but I couldn't help it. I was hand-strung by the cards. And uh, normally when I'm playing with a group of people that will not let me win a pot, that will not let me win a pot, I get all the chips. Because what that means is they're playing every hand against me. And all I need to do is win two or three pots and I'm back. I, I, I don't understand what happened. I, I don't get it. For you, Ha Helpy, the early exit wasn't part of the plan, but circumstances prevailed. 
I clashed with Phil a bit and I uh, had a big plot with uh, Devilfish. I was lucky to flop, flop a straight flush and uh, well, I think I played good also, so maybe I deserve to win a bit. The big game concludes and the players riding off into the setting sun. You can't help but feel that Tony G and Yuha Helpy will have a little skip to their step. While Phil Helmuth and John McGill trudging home with heavy hearts and light wallets. Tournament success, it seems, no key to the cash game. Where salt has been in the wounds, the action has been intense. And I think Roland DeWolf summed it up best. Upon leaving, he said, what time does the casino open? It certainly has been a 24 hours to remember in the PartyPoker.net big game.